WCPM. Words correctly read per minute. Definition. In the WCPM, the student will read for one minute and the teacher counts the number of words read correctly in one minute. It is focused on evaluating each student's reading fluency with phrasing and accuracy. This is not a speed test. The one minute time limit per student is primarily placed on the exam for lesson pacing and time management purposes. This exam will help the teacher assess the student's ability to read longer texts. And this oral reading assessment will screen, diagnose, and monitor the progress of each student's reading fluency. Location. The slide oral reading assessment appears after the post reading slide in grade one and grade two reach courses. Separately from grade one and grade two reach, WCPM in grade three materials is in the warm up section and usually appears on the third page. Process. First, inform the students that they will read as accurately as possible for one minute, uninterrupted, and remind them to not read too fast. Second, set the We Class countdown clock to one minute. Third, once the student is ready, ask them to start reading as you start the countdown. As they are reading, click over to the second page of the text if they finish the first page before the one minute elapses. Additional remarks. Grade three reach courses will have two separate passages, including passage A and passage B in WCPM. So they are not reading the same passage, each student is assigned a passage to read on their own. Fourth, as the student is reading, the teacher should pay close attention and keep track of how many errors, not including self-corrected errors, the student makes. Fifth, once the student finishes reading, the teacher should determine two numbers. First, how many words the student read in total? Second, how many uncorrected errors the student made? Sixth, the teacher can provide some brief feedback to each student. First, the teacher can provide some verbal praise, such as well done or excellent. Second, the teacher can announce the total number of words read. And if the teacher deems it appropriate, the number of incorrect words can also be told to the student. Third, the teacher can review a few of the mispronounced words. Seventh, input the final two figures into the feedback fields and click submit. Now let's review our first demonstration video. We've arrived at our first reading test, but it's not a, don't worry about it. It's not a scary test. We're just going to read each of us for one minute and then we're gonna see how well we do, okay? No, don't worry about it, don't stress about it. Now, who wants to read first? Oh, Judy put her hand up very quickly. Okay, Judy, you can read uh, first. I'm gonna set the timer for one minute and you can just read to the bottom of the page. And if you get to the bottom, I'll go to another page, page number two, okay? okay. All right, are you, are you ready? Yes. All right, and go ahead. Imagine a spring morning, a young hare jumps on the grass. A baby bird is singing, gardens, flowers, fair. Can you smell the clean, fresh air? Imagine a summer afternoon. Children wear swimsuit and splash in the pool. Parents sit on desk chairs nearby. Family visit a fair. 
Keep going. Children pile the leaves up and jump. Come on, we don't scare easy. Imagine it's a winter night. Snow has fallen. The forest is wild. Wow, there you go. That's it. You got 102 words. That is a lot of words. Wow. Very, very good job. Now, if we go back here, uh, where'd it go? Okay, if we go back here, I want to show you right here. Um, parents sit on deck chairs nearby. Can you read that one more time? Parents sit, sit on deck chairs nearby. Yeah, that's a little tough. You did an excellent job. Very, very good. Samson, are you ready? Yes. All right, one second. Let me get it all ready for you. Samson, be fast. Read every word correctly. <laughs> yeah. Now you don't you don't have to hang on hang on hang on hang on you don't ha you, you don't have to read super fast it's more important to read accurately than super fast okay so no stress go ahead Samson the fourth season imagine it's a spring morning a young hare jumps on the grass a baby bird is singing garden flowers flare can you smell the clean fresh air. Going. Children pile leaves up and jump. Come on, we don't scare easy. Imagine it's a winter night. Snow has fallen. Very good. Very, very good. Wow. You did excellent. Excellent. There we go. And there we go. Samson, your reading is excellent. Both of you did a very, very good job. I appreciate that very much. Now, the most important thing is to read accurately. And you guys both are very accurate readers. And sometimes we even need to slow down a little bit. Sometimes it's better to read slow rather than fast so we can read correctly. Video recap. First, the teacher established a low pressure atmosphere during the exam encouraging the students not to stress too much about the test. Second, he clearly described the process of how the test will be administered, including an explanation of the second page that would be revealed if the students completed the first page of the reading. Third, he showed the Wii class timer in the upper right-hand corner of the page, so it didn't block any of the reading. Fourth, he told the students how many words they read correctly, and he offered some brief corrections for their errors, along with kind commendation for their good effort. Now, let's watch a second demonstration video. So, are you ready for your reading test? Jerry, I'm going to ask you to go first. I'm going to give you a minute on the clock. I'm going to switch back to this so we can see it. Come on. All right, Jerry. You're going to get a minute on the clock. Dun, oop, not that one. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Are you ready? Um, yes. All right. Say three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Harry Winkler is best known for playing the phones on TV show Happy Days. One day, he is the co-author of a series of children's books. Winkler also visits schools to talk to students and share his story. Although grade school, I was tattered. If I got a D, I was in heaven. If I got a C minus, I had achieved greatness. A's and B's were a kingdom I could never enter. I studied my spelling words in my apartment in New York City. 
Somehow, turning the time it took me to walk the block from my apartment to my school, the words vanished. My teacher, Miss Adolf, had given me a list of ten spelling words. My mother and I went over the list until I knew those words. Good. Until I, you made it to 128 words. Fantastic job! All right, the,、uh, a couple of words that you missed. You missed Jerry. I need,、um, I need you to be focused on class, okay?、Um, this word you missed the word the. Oh, this this word is. What's this word? Through. Through. All through grade school. Oh. Oh, through. Oh, through. Sorry. Excellent, excellent. This word is tutored. 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 Excellent. So you got a hundred and twenty-eight, and you got、uh, three wrong. So you got a hundred and twenty-five words total. Ben, give Ryan, give him a fist bump. That was great. All right, Ryan, are you ready for your reading passage? Oops, I gotta go back. Hope. Ah, yes. All right. Hold on. Dun, dun, dun. This is passage A, and here is passage B. I'm going to set the clock for one minute. Say three, two, one, go, Ryan. Three, two, one, go. The one thing I had going for me was my sense of humor. It's sure I didn't get me any A's, so it got me a trip to the principal's office. No matter what I did, it didn't seem to make a difference. I wish I knew then what I know now. I have dyslexia. My brain learns differently. When my stepson Jack was in the third grade, we had him tested for learning difference. As they explained dyslexia to him, I thought that's me. Excellent. Hold on one sec. I'm going to stop the clock, and I'm going to let you go on. And you lost a minute, so I'm going to give you a minute. Go ahead, Ryan. A learning this ba-、uh, a learning this they this、uh, ability can re- really affect the way you feel about yourself. Now I know that even if a person learns differently, he or she can still be filled with greatness. Today, when I visit schools, I tell children that everyone has something special inside. You made it to everyone, so you made it to one hundred and twenty-seven, one hundred and twenty-six, one hundred and twenty-five words. Fantastic! And here are some words that we need to go over. Oops, this word is. Uh oh! Come back! Come on! There is a little delay on the computer, so let me try to go forward.、Uh, let's see. Where is the word? Where is the word? Principles. 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 Do you see? Principles.、Um. Good. Where is that? Do 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 do. It's not here.、Uh, no, it's not. I'm. It's.、Uh, it's. There's a delay on the computer, so I'm trying to get it to go to passage B. Here's p- good principal's office. Then we have office. Good. Known. This word is known. Known. Good. And the last one is differences with、oh, an S. Dif- Awesome job! You got 125. You got three words, so your total is 122 words. Give each other fist bumps. Awesome job! Excellent. Video recap. First, the teacher maintained a positive and encouraging attitude while administering the oral reading test. Second, she allowed the students to read uninterrupted for the entire one minute. While sharing the week class timer on the screen. Third, she provided clear feedback and correction for decoding on some of the more challenging words that were mispronounced by the students. Fourth, since this was a grade three reach higher course, the teacher made sure to allow each of the students to read a separate oral reading exam selection. 
fifth. After each student completed their reading selection, she provided encouraging affirmation and sincere appreciation for their strong efforts. Summary. If administered correctly, the WCPM exam can be a useful tool for helping teachers diagnose and monitor their students' reading fluency needs and abilities. This information can help teachers set precise and catered learning goals for each student in future classes. It is also a very effective way to keep parents well informed and up to date regarding their child's progress with reading fluency. Thank you.